Welcome back to Ozarks Live. There is a brand new local digital newspaper in town, and you need to know all about it. So say hello to the CEO of the Springfield Daily Citizen, David Steffler. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having good. me. Good. Big week for Thanks you. You guys out. launched Monday. Yeah, yeah it was very exciting. Uh, we got uh, our official launch on Monday uh, with our, our full website full of content focusing on public affairs and also just on Springfield life. Very good. How did this all come about? Yeah. Yeah, so a group of people got together last summer, uh, led by Tom Carlson, the former mayor, mm -hmm. and uh, very concerned about trying to improve the coverage uh, in our community, particularly of in-depth uh, news uh, with the decline of uh, for-profit news organizations. Uh, there's a real concern about making sure that the public is well informed. Mm -hmm. And so we started uh, conversations last summer and uh, put the idea in motion really starting in early fall. You were here for several years with the newspaper, left yeah. and went to Wisconsin, correct? Correct. Glad to be back in the Ozarks? Uh, very much so. I mean, I enjoyed my time uh, here in Springfield uh, as the executive editor at the News Leader, and I found the community was especially welcoming, uh, even though I was a come here. Uh, but to me, it, it really is a place, there's a lot of special people and a, really a feeling of a, uh, we want to make this uh, a great place for everybody. And now, when we were talking a little bit earlier, there is, uh, it's kind of a unique makeup of all the people who are working under the banner. Explain what that's all about, too, if yeah. you will. Yeah, so we have a staff of 11. Uh, and every one of our uh, staff members has a connection to Springfield or to Missouri. Uh, most of them were living in the Springfield area, uh, some working for uh, uh, other uh, news organizations, uh, but uh, all of the people that we have either are from Missouri, from the area, or have lived here uh, previously. And that's important to us because part of what we're trying to do is really be invested in the community and so we want a staff that is uh, invested in being here. And as these non-for-profit news startups go, this is a large one. You and I were talking earlier, you don't usually start with 11 people on the staff. Yeah, most of the nonprofits, there's a, about 300 nonprofit news organizations across the country. It's been a, a real expanding uh, form of news coverage over the last uh, decade or 15 years as, as for-profit organizations have declined. But most of them start with two or three people, sometimes even just one person, uh, who's really focused on a very particular issue or a, a particular area. In our case, we're uh, providing much broader coverage of Springfield and Greene County, some daily news coverage, a big focus on doing the in-depth kind of coverage that uh, the for-profit uh, news sources are having a harder time doing with fewer and fewer staff people. And, uh, but we're also giving people that slice of life, the sense of what it's like to live in Springfield and Greene County through coverage of arts and culture, outdoors, recreation, uh, all of that. All the things we enjoy here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and this is subscription based? Uh, will be. Uh, initially, uh, the site is free. Uh, anybody can uh, come and check it out. Uh, uh, you'll get asked to register your email address. So you'd get a daily email newsletter from us. Uh, that'll be one way people will access it. But in the long run, uh, we do expect uh, that uh, readers will pay to support the site, as well as uh, community organizations sponsoring a nonprofit, just like they might sponsor the Boys and Girls Club or some other organization whose mission they believe in. Will there be a little bit of two-way conversation that goes on? Mm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, we really want to encourage uh, community conversation. And so uh, we will have a, a, a voices section where people can uh, uh, write uh, letters to the editor, or guest author uh, pieces. We have some columnists now, uh, but uh, we're going to be launching that sometime here a little bit later this spring. Where do people find it if they yeah. want to check out The Daily Citizen? Yeah, make sure. Thanks for asking. SGFCitizen.org. SGFCitizen.org. And, of course, you can find us on... Facebook or Twitter or Instagram at, at that same address, SGF Citizen. Very interesting. And congrats on the launch. Thank you. David Steffler, thank you. Thanks for thank being you. Here today. I appreciate it. Good to see you for sure. All right, now we are going to.